Hello everyone. Well at long last I've managed to finish this steampunk journal that um, I said I would do. Uh, to kick it off I needed a cover making and I haven't really got the confidence to uh, dive in and do one so I asked Shaz of Crafted Seasons if she would make the cover for me. Uh, she's the queen of uh, steampunk. Uh, that's the image I sent to her and um, which I love and it's from Victoria Designs one of her digital downloads and this is what she sent back this beautiful embellished cover I think you'll agree she's done a fabulous job with that. That's the spine that she did. And I just put a, a large fold down clip on there and added some bling. And that's the back that she decorated. in her own unique style. Um, I added a Tim Holtz hitch post on the front. I made uh, a chain fastener and put some uh, little bits and odds on the chain. And I'll give you a quick uh, flick through. Um, I don't want to bore you with it, so I'll be quite quick with it. Um, I know steampunk isn't everybody's cup of tea, but I, I quite like the image and I like to carry it through the book. Right, so. First page, cover page, has got two hidden pockets in there. If you wanted to hide something in there. There are three signatures on each of the three signatures. There is uh, a bit of a dangle. Here we've got uh, a notebook that I did. Just fits into the top pocket. Next page, we've got a smaller pocket, a tag with a key. Uh, I took out about say 25 pages because this was much too chunky and I couldn't fasten it and unfortunately I had to take out a lot of the tea dyed papers that I wanted to use for journaling um, but I think there's still plenty of uh, spots in here to, to journal on. Uh, just a little tag there with a tree of life metal tag. Uh, here we've got a bookmark and the black and white striped material is um, the material in the dress on the image that you'll see later on. On this page I've got a see-through pocket, the little tag and some die cuts there. A little bit of lace trim, there's a metal bird, and a bit of piece of metal filigree there. The pocket with a lace trim. Here there is a vellum pocket with a plain tag uh, here a cut out with lace um, little bits of metal and scissors and that's the black and white uh, in, the, in the dress on that image I love the images, I just think they're something a little bit different. I love the dog. Looks like a Vimerana. Um, there's another pocket there uh, with a tag. 
I'm not very good at showing journals. I never think it's quite, um, doesn't give you the full picture. Uh, another tag. Another pocket and tag. Some die cutting at the top. Uh, here I've got a metal butterfly with uh, tea bag wings. Uh, I've used vellum a lot in this. I like the I like vellum and I, I like the pictures that go with this kit. And here there's another plain tag. I put a plain tag so that it highlights the the vellum picture really. Just some advertising. Um, an envelope there clipped on. Um, here we've got a another envelope that's um, it's got the image on again. A little bit of uh, steampunk and got a round tea bag there and uh, a little bit of bling. And on here I've attached uh, a little a little more ephemera, metal ephemera. Um, I like that image. A little bit of dangle there. Another bookmark on this side. I'll be picking this up because it's quite dark. Uh, the inserts are quite dark in this room. It's, it's not too too good. Uh, here we've got another um, plain tag, as this is a vellum pocket, and there's just some uh, tea dyed paper to journal on there. There's another pocket there, a hidden pocket. A little bit of black and white trim again, gathered to match the dress. Some uh, uh, what do you call it? Yes, so, um, another tag, corner pocket. I don't know what this is. I just threw it together. <laughs> so a little bit of bling, um, appropriate to the theme. That's all you can say. Uh, there's a nice piece of tie tea dye paper in that top pocket again to use for journaling. Last a little, little bit of journaling space. A tag and a belly band. Uh, these images are lovely, I love them. Uh, the next uh, signature again a dangle. A bit of lace, nice image. A flip up there in vellum of that Vimarana again. The, uh, drop the remote. I just don't feel with it today. <laughs> Do you have days like that? I'm not with it at all. Uh, bookmark and I slid it between these two filigree items so that it uh, stays put. pocket that I've put nothing in it yet. I keep changing things around in it. I don't think any journal's ever complete. quite like that little bit of filigree so I used it for uh, a tab opening. little clock there. There she is again on bell and flip up. An altered paper clip. That's a vellum page. Here we've got two vellum pockets, and in each one there's a plain tag. And I'll use coins as the tabs to push them in and out. Lovely page again. Another altered paper clip. 
piece of tea dyed paper another pocket with a couple of small tags in some more trim and there she is Uh, some die cutting, a tag, a pocket with some tags and a little bit of a dangle, heart shaped dangle. Another of these lovely images from the kit. Uh, a little bit of embellishment on a tag there. Another lift up flip. one. Uh, there's a hidden pocket with an envelope and papers inside. An envelope there and a little booklet that I made. Here there's a hidden pocket with uh, a matching tag. A pocket with another tag and there she is. Um, a paper clip uh, with another bookmark and it's a pocket that holds a little booklet just some more embellishments wherever I've, I can I've added some little bits of metal trim. On this one there are two tags here and here. A little collage there. Some more vellum with some tulle. Because steampunk doesn't mean all, all metal and no frills, it's, well anything goes really doesn't it? I think, <laughs> knowing nothing about it. Pocket with a tag, and there she is again. Another pocket and tag. A little bit of uh, illustration of mechanical items I think they are and this opens up into a journaling space it's not meant to be glued and a tag in the side pocket there and a tag in the side pocket there and I've used safety pins for the tabs on each one See those. Yeah. Uh, another steampunk image, another collage piece. Another pocket with a uh, stamping and of lace on. and some inking envelope another little vellum pocket there with a plain tag and uh, a couple of brads and a safety pin for the tab nearly finished girls uh, another lovely image there pocket tag plain piece, an envelope and some dyed paper in that pocket and that's it ladies, a couple of hidden hidden um, tuck spots there, little pockets and uh, one steampunk journal that I really am glad to see finished um, 
I quite like it though I quite like it and uh, it's another one for my collection and I'm, uh, I'm just glad it's out of the way because I've got so much to do you wouldn't believe and with Christmas coming up it's it's just going to be a nightmare so thank you for looking in thank you very much indeed Shaz for making this fabulous cover I love it she really is good isn't she at whatever she does I love it uh, thanks for looking in and I hope I haven't bored you too much. Bye for now ladies and I'll be back later. Bye.